Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today's May 15th, 2018, and this is our episode number 300. We are in the middle of a, a one year review of Michiza. So that means a year ago, I, I told you I consider Michiza an investable company for myself, and indeed, I was an investor and am. So we're in the middle of uh, a reanalysis of Michiza. We looked at the basic numbers here. They look okay. We looked at the price variation. Indeed, the price, the market cap has gone up significantly over 40% in the last year. <clears throat> uh, and still, number-wise, uh, Michiza seems like a, a good company with a, a price that's, that's undervalued still. We looked at the ownership, which hasn't changed uh, much at all over the last year. So the main owners still own uh, Machiza and in pretty much the same uh, amounts. Uh, so today uh, I actually started doing this, but my connection was slow. So I, I'm starting again. I'm collecting information on revenue over time here. So, so far we have four years. This is not inflation adjusted. <clears throat> so right now, I'll just continue finding them. And Machisa's website doesn't go far in time here, uh, which is a pity. I think they should have, uh, at the very least, they should have every single year of their history there. Uh, I think that helps. But since they don't, uh, I just I'm just... Uh, resorting to Morningstar. So I do Morningstar filings, Michiza, and we get to the filings. So we have numbers for all the way back to 2014. So what we want now is 2013. <clears throat> and here it is. Let's wait for it to download. So if this happens to be the first video you watch of Naive Investor, uh, over the last 300 videos, uh, this is what I do. I do the actual process, uh, just as I do for other companies. So this is the basic introductory process. And then, uh, <clears throat> after that, it's just getting more uh, detailed and qualitative information. So Michizas is particularly uh, difficult because their format is this very old school here. But it's no big deal. So in 2013, uh, the consolidated uh, revenue was 248 million. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, these numbers are not going anywhere here before adjusting for inflation. So this, it seems like the, the the revenues are actually going down a little bit. So in 2012, 225. So So we have the consolidated numbers here, 252 and 241. And onwards to 2000, excuse me, 
So just as a comparison here, the consolidated uh, net equity was at 92 million. Can you even do that there? 92 million here. <clears throat> It should be said that uh, this is not inflation adjusted, and this would be about 150, 160 uh, in today's money. So the net equity has grown, uh, but compounded not at a huge ratio there. So the results consolidated here so the revenue here was 229 and then 291 and here we adjust for inflation so This is a little formula I have. If you want to know what I'm doing here, uh, look for naive investor inflation adjusted, uh, and you shall know. <clears throat> so this is 10 years. You can copy this here. We can copy it here as well. Pretty uncanny that, uh, okay, because this is wrong, wrong. So these are, are just the averages, uh, which is nice, because here you, you will know that we're buying uh, the company for a it's only 60% of the sales. Okay, so this company is worth 154 divided by 240. So 154 divided by 240. Actually, after adjusting for inflation, it's half. Less than half. 154 divided by 324. So we're buying the company for less than half of what it sells uh, in a year. So... Uh, of course, if it sells and loses money in the end, that doesn't mean anything. But Nichiza has shown consistent, if not huge, profit. So its return on equity is, uh, let's see here, over 10 years, right? So 20 uh, out of 220. So 9% uh, between 9 and 10. So it's nothing outstanding, but it's not bad. Uh, and the free cash flow is also, it's, it's the same. So in this regard, uh, the return, the free cash flow ratio over equity is, it's kind of nice. Okay, so definitely we're not looking at a killer company here it it was a, a deep value let's say uh, idea a year ago and the value is less deep because the company has gone up by 40 percent so as as you can see here the the revenue uh, looks like it's in a downward trajectory here after adjusting for inflation okay so this is worrisome you know uh, if the company hasn't been able to make less and fewer and fewer sales, so perhaps, you know, external competition, which has destroyed our, our Brazilian industry anyway, is slowly taking a toll here on Michiza. Of course, we are in a profound crisis right now. We've been over the last four years for sure. 
So it remains to be seen if Mechiza will be able to recover to, to change this, this trajectory here in the upcoming years. So if we see you know, another year, another couple years of declining revenue, uh, it's, we should completely uh, reassess the situation here because Brazil looks like it's moving slowly out of, of the bottom of the crisis. Okay. So uh, I think this concludes our analysis, our one-year review of Mechiza. I could do a dividend history here, uh, but I think we're, we're good. So I'm uh, recommending, I'm staying with Mechiza, uh, for the long haul, okay. Uh, if the fundamentals change, uh, I'll I'll review my idea. But uh, with the information that we have here, even though certain the, the revenue decline is worrisome, there is no question about it. But I'm still uh, trusting Machisa at this price level. So company with very little debt. Uh, if it stays with little debt and producing profits, uh, I think I'll, I'll remain a partner of Michiza. So what we can do now is go to our, our little notepad. So Michiza. Today is 2018, 15, current market capital in the is about 154 million. Stock price about 17 AIs. Just making sure here. My computer's grinding to a halt here. It's pretty, it's pretty young to be doing this. Well, it is too slow, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's around 17. If not, it's cents away from 17. So no matter, stock price 17. Said I'm keeping it in the portfolio. So these two companies remain in my portfolio, and they shall remain for for the time being. This is rough. 
computer is behaving pretty pretty badly right now but yep this is it so we'll come back to Mechiza uh, about a year from now for our two-year review uh, unless something uncanny happens from between now and then so thank you very much for watching if you've made it this far in the video I invite you to be a subscriber just hit a subscribe button and I'll be delighted I also invite you to watch our past episodes I invite you to watch our future episodes and as always if you have questions suggestions criticism and especially if you've spotted mistakes in the analysis leave a comment and I'll write you back as soon as I can have a great day. Bye-bye.